Well, hi, hello, it's Sophie here and a warm welcome to this week's video. Now we're doing all things Instagram. So this video is Instagram top tips to start 2021. And I have got five hot tips to share with you. Now, if you love this sort of content and you're an artist looking to grow a business, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell below to get notified every single time I post a new video. So welcome to this one in particular, where of course one of the major hot topics right now has got to be Instagram. Where do you start? What do you need to be doing? And how do you make the very best of what you do so that you get the results you're looking for? Now, I'm sure that you've heard all of this great advice before. Show up, post great content, engage with your followers, use the right hashtags and overall be consistent. And that in itself, there's nothing wrong with that advice, except that I'm feeling it's a little bit broad and it's missing some of those all important specific details. Well, how do I actually do that? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five practical tips of exactly what you need to be doing. So who here feels a bit frustrated? You post and you spend time putting together content, you post it, nothing happens. Um, you look at other accounts and they've got huge follower numbers and you think, how do, how do I do that? What time do you post? When do you post? You don't really know, right? Who exactly is my audience? How am I gonna get in front of them? All these questions. And very often it comes down to, well, why am I doing this anyway if I'm not getting any results out of it? And that can leave you feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, a bit peed off, and not really wanting to continue with what you're doing. So when you feel like it's a waste of time, guess what happens? You end up just not doing anything at all and then your Instagram will just crash and burn. And we don't want that to happen for you. So listen, I hear you, I hear the frustration. I've totally been there like everybody else. With the right information, the right tools in your hand, I think you can find that this year can give you a whole other result. So I personally haven't been spending a huge amount of time on Instagram either, I but grow my business a different way and it's really been quite low down the priority list. But we've decided to completely change that for 2021 and already I've got green stats everywhere. And if you're somebody that looks at your insights, you'll know what big green stats really mean. That means the numbers are going up, the reach is going up, everything is going up which is the way you want it, of course. All right, so how are you going to breathe new life into a soggy old Instagram account? Or perhaps an improve a not too bad one. Let's dive into my five top tips and get excited, guys, because this is gonna include the R word. <laughs> All right, here's what you need to know. So tip number one is you've got, got, got to be using Reels. Yes, 100%, they were rolled out last year. Some people have grabbed them and run with them and other people are sitting back waiting to see what's going to happen. And my suggestion is don't do that. You're gonna jump on the bandwagon. I'm gonna share exactly what you need to be doing in a minute. Top tip number two is carousel posts. Creating content to keep people on that platform. Again, I'll dive a little bit deeper in a minute. Number three, we're using stories, but we're gonna use them in a certain way. I've got a top tip that I hope is gonna help you get a better result with your stories. Hashtags, yes, we do need to mention them. And again, I've got one thing that I think will just give you the edge. Last but not least, brand new out, I believe in November last year, are guides. Are you even aware they're there? And are you realize what a fantastic resource this is for us, particularly artists, I feel. So I'm gonna point out and give you some, some top tips of how you can start that as well. All right, let's start to break it all down. So number one, reels. Okay, what are they? I guess by now you've likely seen them, some of you are using them, but I think there's some more exciting ways you could be using them. So yes, if you've ever been on TikTok, you'll know that instant video with lots of different changes, it looks like a kind of movie trailer, jumps from this place to the other place, and you're often left thinking, how are people making those? All right, well reels are 15 and now they're rolling out 30 seconds of video. Now that doesn't sound much, 
But trust me, you can make little clips, two, three seconds, two, three seconds, and you put the whole lot together with some text and hashtags and some clever transitions, and you can start creating your own really highly engaging content on Instagram. So they appear on your feed. They've got their own tab as well, so look out for them on other people's accounts. You can go across to mine and have a look there. You can share your reel to a story once you've made it as well. So you can either create it on the go. You can open the plus tab, select reels and start filming bits, either one long film or film lots of little bits using the timer function. Um, or you can create video on your phone and upload it and edit just the bits that you want. So the whole thing just ends up this short, tiny snippet that made together of lots of other bits of video. It's video only, not images. Um, and it's got all the things you can do with stories, the text, the hashtags, all of those good things are all there for you to add afterwards. Find a style that works for you. So my suggestion would be is go and have a look at how other people are doing it. Find ones that you like and then decide that you're going to replicate that. And the way that I think is obvious is you can just grab a piece of paper and plan it out. What do you think your audience would like to see? How are you going to film that? What are the different attributes and different things that you're going to use? Um, and then really all you've got to do is feel the fear and do it anyway. You're going to record it. You're going to edit it. You're going to add some text to it. And trust me, you're not going to go wrong here because it's only going to post when you hit the share button. You can save it. You can download it and, and do something with it later, or you can just get rid of it and start again. And I think so many times we don't start these things for fear of posting a half finished thing or posting something that doesn't look great, all right? You've got multiple steps before you actually hit the share button. So here's some of the things I think would be really great for us. So obviously top tips if you teach. If you teach classes um, as an artist, then some top tips, keep them really simple. Share the materials you use, share behind the scenes in the studio, share how you're getting set up for the day. A lot of people are using time lapses and I feel like you can post those anyway. Um, I think like, let's step it up a little bit. Maybe include a time lapse or a section of a time lapse with other things. I think people want to see something even more. So have a look at the Reels tab, which is at the bottom of your Instagram and just scroll through and see what you can find. See what you like, get inspired. And then like I see, you're gonna complete your own reel. You can tag me in it if you like, so I can come across and look at it as well. Okay, number two, carousel posts. So again, like reels, this is keeping your audience on Instagram. Instagram and any other social media platform is gonna reward you if you keep your audience on their platform for as long as possible. So watching a reel, watching video, and reading through a carousel post. So that's several images, and it doesn't just have to be images, you can make graphics with writing on. So you can actually tell a little story or share some tips or some process, and actually really think about putting together a piece of really high quality content, because you want to think about something that somebody might like to share or they might like to save to go back and look at again later. All right, so use Canva, something like that, or Photoshop to make your different images. Um, and then you can just post those up. And again, they show on your feed and people just love scrolling through them. You can even put some little arrows to indicate. You can write in the description what you want people to do. Hey, keep scrolling to read dot, dot, dot. All right, carousel posts really, really want to be included. Number three, stories. You're likely already doing them. All right, how do they work? It's content that you just put up on the little story. That's when you hit the plus button and you go for stories. You know the ones, little circles across the top of your home screen? Only up for 24 hours. So you don't really need to worry about branding it or taking a beautiful shot or it's on the flight. It's a story. Where are you? What's happened in the studio in your creative process? Are you out grabbing some inspiration? Where are you? Quick video, quick photos quick writing questions. It's just something that you can include without really thinking about it too much. Just engage your audience. 
Now, um, here's one of the things that I um, would like to offer as a top tip. So a lot of us like to keep the stories going. So you just keep adding things and adding things and adding things. But what I found is that after a few days, the viewer numbers tend to get less. So then take a break for two, three, four days even maybe and come back with a new story and you'll find that your numbers go back up again. So listen, I don't know the, the rules behind that, but just give it a go. Even a break between 24 hours, I think you'll see a difference. So that's the top tip for stories. Number four, those good old hashtags, right? I get so many questions on which hashtag should I use? So here's just some of the rules. We can use up to 30 on a post, um, but here's the tip, you need to change them up. I think a lot of us got lazy last year and we found 30 that work really well or 15 that work really well and you're in a hurry, right? And you're putting your post up and you copy and paste the same hashtags. And here's the thing, Instagram is not gonna love you for that. In fact, it's not even gonna like you very much. In fact, it might even think you're a spam or a bot and they're going to downgrade you. So you must really think about that post that you're posting. Yes, use some of your key hashtags, of course, but really make sure that the bat works for that image. So my top tip is create maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different batches. So a studio, maybe shot different tags in there, and maybe a artwork tag or a workshop tags. And then you can put 10 or 15 relevant tags for each of those topics. So you could copy and paste and then just add a few in. Now, here's the other thing you want to be thinking about three to five larger. What do I mean by larger? To 500,000 plus. Um, three to five medium, three to five small and niched. Um, and then use geolocation. If you're in somewhere that's, um, you know, that's, that's relevant to the post, then make sure that you use a tag that's also gonna pull people in, in that specific area. Write out your, all your ideas and tags on notes so that you can just copy them across. Okay, and of course, if you're using a scheduler, you could usually save them in there too. So last but not least, I wanna talk about guides. Guides are brand new, what are they? They are, they are um, a collection of posts that you create um, and share for your audience to look at. So there are three different types at the moment, places, products, and posts. All right, so you're gonna compile a collection. So for example, if you go with the places, um, and you've traveled a lot, you know, prior to 2020, and you want to inspire people as how that's gonna look in the future, and you've been to maybe your favorite places that you've been to, so you could say, okay, I'm gonna go back down through my feed and pick all the posts that are relevant to that place, and then you've got space to write about them as well, what you loved about them, and you're literally compiling a guide for your audience. Now, it's not gonna show up on your feed, it'll show up on a tab on your feed, not on your main grid, but you can share that to your story. So, for example, products. I think you can see where I'm going here. You could go back down your posts and pick your most popular products. You could make a collection. What about posts? So if you share information, um, you could pick the most um, relevant posts and put them together on one topic. But here's the thing, you don't just wanna use your own content, right? You might wanna also use other people's content. So before you create your guide, you wanna have a look at your favorite accounts and save some of the posts that you think are gonna be relevant to your guide. And then when you create the guide, you can either collect from your own phone, your own photos and images or your posts, uh, excuse me, or you're saved and you can make a combination. And then of course, that's likely you're gonna tag the person whose post that was, they're also gonna see that they've, their post has been included in your guide and maybe they might share that guide out to their audience as well. So I think this is quite exciting. A lot of people are not using it right now and I think there's an awful lot that we can actually do with that. All right. So um, that's, that concludes, let's go back over the five things that we've looked at today. So we've looked at obviously reels, brand new, fresh, 
um, exciting, huge viewer numbers, a massive chance to get out in front of an audience that doesn't know you. That's really the difference with reels, carousel posts, again, keep people on your on the platform longer and on your profile longer, stories, hashtags, and guides. I hope you've enjoyed and are inspired by these top tips. Now we're gonna take this a step further next week and I'm gonna dive into how to create a solid strategy um, for 2021 and Instagram strategy. And if you really want to get some help with this Instagram stuff, and you're watching this at the time of shooting in January 2021, then have a look at the link below because I'm just about to run a free 14 day artist Instagram challenge. So click on the link below, join that challenge, join our Facebook for Artists Facebook group. It's all gonna happen in there. And then you can get some momentum. You can ask questions about the five things I've talked about. Um, and you can start getting your accounts going and get that out in front of more people as well. So I hope you're excited as I am. I'm so excited. I'm lying awake at night thinking about possible reels. How sad is that? I'll leave you on that thought um, and I'll see you again next week. And don't forget, if you've loved the content, maybe shoot me a comment below as well. I'd love to hear from you. All right, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.